Welcome back to another JF-17 video. Today we're going to learn how to do some air-to-air -air refueling, but in order to do that we're also going to need to know how to use the TACAN and the radios. Let's start by looking at how we can set the radio presets in the mission editor. On this tab we can see the radio presets for our JF-17. I'm going to use Scratchpad to note the frequencies of the tankers and the AWACS. We'll also jot down the TACAN of our first tanker. Note that you can't set the TACAM for the IL-76, so we're only going to get its frequency. We'll set the tankers in our radio presets 2 and 3, but we'll save the AWACS to do in the jet. While we're here, let's go ahead and make sure that the refuel probe is also attached. You can do this on the ground with the engines off, but for the purposes of this mission, let's go ahead and just make sure that it is installed. Okay, we are all started up. Let's first take a look at the kneeboard where you will see presets 2 and 3 are as we set them in the mission editor. Now let's go ahead and set the AWACS up to preset 1. On the comp panel, we first need to take control of the radio by pressing the radio control handover button. The corresponding LED will illuminate to show that the comm panel now has control of the radio. Now we need to select the preset we want to change. You can type it in if you press P or you can use the plus and minus keys. With the preset you want to change selected, move the radio knob to set. We can now press enter and key in the frequency. Once done, preset 1 is now set to our AWACS. Move the radio mode back to transmit receive and then we'll press the handover button again to give the UFC control of the radio. Let's quickly verify that preset 1 is the AWACS and call for a picture. Overlord 1-1, one, one. Uzi 1-1, one, one. request picture. Uzi 1-1, one, one. Overlord 1-1, one, one. clean. Alright, everything sounds good. Now that we have that all set up, let's get airborne and we'll set up our TAC can and start refueling. Okay, first let's input our TAC can information. First tanker, our TAC can is going to be 53 Yankee. Once done, make sure that the TAC can is turned on on your EHSI page as well. Let's also go ahead and change our radio preset over to the tanker so we can contact him. And we'll go ahead and set the mode to air to ground. And if you want, you can go ahead and turn down the TACAN ILS volume so that beeping isn't distracting you while you're refueling. Okay, let's go ahead and head towards our tanker and we'll go ahead and contact him and let him know our intent to refuel. Arco, one, one, in field, one, one, request rejoin. In field, one, one, Arco, one, one, proceed to pre-contact at 20,000, at two, nine, zero. A quick note here, it's a very good idea to go ahead and bind the pre-contact call somewhere on your HOTAS or a key bind that makes sense to you. This way when you're up close to the tanker, you don't have to fumble around with the comms menu to try to call pre-contact. Okay, let's go ahead and skip up to the pre-contact now. Here we are up close. Let's go ahead and turn on our air-to-air -air refueling switch to all and call pre-contact. Ready, pre-contact. Cleared contact. And we are cleared contact. We'll make sure we are in a stable formation with the tanker before proceeding. For me, I have found that lining up with the wingtip light is a good reference for left-to-right lineup. As far as elevation, you're going to want to make sure that the basket and hose is roughly at the top of the HUD mounting bracket. Contact. Once you have this set up, go ahead and just ease on in until you connect. You're taking fuel. Make all your inputs very gentle and do not try to overcorrect. With the KC-135, I find that the lights on the refuel can be very hard to see. So I'll go ahead and throw a graphic up on the screen so you can see what they are supposed to be. So here all we got to do is just keep a nice easy formation with the tanker while we're taking fuel. In this case I'm not going to take a full load because we're going to go hit the other tanker next. I'm going to ease off the throttle and try to put the basket at the top of the HUD mounting bracket. Now 
Okay, we're disconnected. Now let's go ahead and cancel the refuel and close our air-to-air -air refueling switch. Support rejoin. All right, let's go ahead and get set up for refueling off the IL-76. This tanker does not have a attack can, so we'll use the AWACS to give us its position. Overlord, one, one, in field, one, one. Alpha, check to tanker. Enfield, one, one. Overlord, one, one. Texaco, at Bulls, two, one, seven, four, ninety. Okay, now we know where it's at, we'll go ahead and fly to the tanker and request fuel. Texaco, 1-1, one, one. in field, 1-1, one, one. request rejoin. In field, 1-1, one, one. Texaco, 1-1, one, one. proceed to pre-contact at 20,000, at 2 9, zero. This time I'm going to also set up the fuel page so we can monitor the fuel flow while we're connected. And again, of course, we need to turn on our AAR switch. Okay, let's go ahead and jump ahead to pre-contact now. Ready, pre-contact. And of course he started his turn. So we'll do this one while we're turning. This time our lineup line will be the black line to the left of the refuel basket. The elevation will be the same as with the previous tanker, right at the top of the HUD mounting bracket. Again, fly in nice and smooth and fly formation with the tanker once connected. You'll notice that these refuel lights are a little bit easier to see, but I'll go ahead and throw another graphic up on the screen so you can see what they mean. This time we're going to go ahead and take a full load, so we're going to be here for a minute. While we're flying, just keep nice, easy inputs and fly a good, smooth formation with the tanker and you shouldn't have any issues. And we're done. So we'll go ahead and ease back and disconnect. And we'll turn off our air-to-air -air refueling switch. And that's refueling. I know sometimes it can be very challenging, but you just keep practicing. Repetition is the key to getting good at air-to-air -air refueling. And if you find yourself struggling, just keep practicing. And maybe the reference points I use don't work for you. Find your own reference points. Find the position that works for you. And it may also be useful to just fly formation with the tanker, not even trying to refuel. Just get up there and fly beside him and get used to the inputs you need with your controls to fly a nice steady formation with the tanker. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.